Hey there, it's Jackie McIntyre here. Now, this is something that I want to talk to you about that I have shared at times with one-on-one -on -one clients when I do consultations with them. And also in the My Incredible Orbit community when we do all of our group work together. This came up just very, very recently in another client session and it felt relevant more than ever to actually talk publicly about this. This is not something that gets taught to us. This is something that I kind of really developed and knew that I needed to start doing in order for me to be able to connect with a person and bring about the best possible outcome I could for them, right? So what I started doing many, many years ago when I was with clients and then I started not only doing it just when I was with clients, but I started doing it when I was teaching courses, when I was conversing with friends or family. If I needed to perhaps come and have a conversation with somebody and it had some elements to it that were going to be um, tough or a little bit touchy, a little bit emotional. We're going to have to go a little bit deeper for some reason. I realized that there is a very big difference between having a conversation with somebody, the whole of somebody, where you're just speaking and you're speaking the words to them. It's kind of like you speak them you kind of throw them out there without even realizing it and they're going to receive that, right? And then they're going to react. They're going to hear it the way that they hear it. They're going to see it and see your body posturing and pick up on a lot of subtle cues the way that they are going to do that. What I started doing really early on in my career is and I think it came about from one of the lectures that I did one day and I realized that the heart brain within a person which is actually associated with a person's physical heart their heart brain um, is so highly intelligent and it's designed naturally to be able to receive information like that and to be able to help the person and their entire body mind complex to be able to digest that information and send it down through to the etheric brain or otherwise known as the gut brain. So once upon a time, because I was taught to do it this way, which is kind of the way that everyone used to do it would be that I would just speak to somebody and, you know, kind of hope that, the way that they received it, they could feel my care and they could feel my compassion and they could feel my intention behind that. And sometimes I didn't. But what started to happen was when I started to have a conversation with their heart, and what I mean by that was I would be talking to somebody, kind of making eye contact with them, looking them in the eyes, but my intention and what I'm doing in my mind's eye is that I am front and center with this person's heart. I'm having a conversation with the heart and I'm delivering the information to the heart. When I started doing this, everything changed. It all felt very differently. People were not reactionary. They seemed to understand the information on a much deeper level. They were able to digest the information and um, it didn't seem to have the bigger reactions or the big um, emotional upheaval that it potentially could. So they processed it and felt it in a completely different way. One of the reasons for that is because if you're just speaking to somebody and not really delivering it to anywhere in particular, but you're just speaking to the whole of them, quite often it's the brain that's really involved with that process. And their brain, which is designed really to 
run the body and oversee the running of the body, which is a huge job, by the way. It's more often than not the brain that's kind of really receiving that information. And that's when it can be really difficult for the person to be able to have engage in the conversation, to be able to have an open, honest conversation with you and to be able to receive the information in a healthy way and in a really balanced way and then to be able to move through it is because the head brain's just not designed to be able to cope with that. It's simply not its job. So as I said, the, the heart brain is designed to be able to do that. The gut brain is also our, designed to be able to do that. Both of them have slightly different functions. And when they work together, so the heart brain gives the ability to be able to remain really quiet, present, and open and attentive and receiving of the information without kind of get caught up in the emotion and everything. The gut brain is designed to digest the information, assimilate it, integrate the information, and then kind of make help make decisions about how we want to deal with that information, what it means to us, right? So in, in every single case, the moment I stopped talking to that person and I started having a conversation with that person's heart brain, everything completely changed and it became softer, it became easier, um, the information was being received as it was intended and the person was able to move through whatever process they were moving through so much quicker. So my advice for today is just give it a try. Have a conversation with that person's heart. You can look at them in the eyes. It's really just what you're doing in your mind's eye. So in your imagination, your intention is I'm having a conversation with this person's heart and see what happens. Also, see how different it makes you feel because it feels different. When you become aware and your intention is that you're speaking to a heart, it really does change things. So I'm not going to tell you how much that changes or what it looks like for you, but uh, just see how it works out for you and what you notice within yourself and share it with me. Share your experiences, what you get out of this, whether you've tried it yet or not, whether you've had this realisation, give it a try and then come back and tell me what the experience was like, okay? Have fun with it, see how you go, and all the best. Bye for now.